this next tank coming up. This is one of the most iconic tanks in the world. It was developed, it was way ahead of its time, and anyone that knows anything about World War II tanks or has an interest in them knows there is a T-34. It's actually a T-34-85. It has a large turret and it's up gun. This tank, we stumbled across. I, didn't, I wasn't looking for it because I didn't think any of them were available. We were looking at another one. If you recall the tank that I came out on, I was looking at that tank and what was beside it? This one. So we did a two for one deal. This is, this was developed in Kharkov which was part of the Soviet Union, which is now part of Ukraine. It was developed by a guy named Koshkin, and Koshkin was a Ukrainian. So this was designed, developed, and manufactured in the Ukraine. And given the current conflict there, we're recognizing the fact that it is Ukrainian. There are not many of these running around. This was made late in the war. This was made in June. The one month after the war ended, this went over with the Russian forces into the Manchurian campaign. And it fought and finished off the Japanese with the Russian forces there. Then somehow this tank ended up in Bosnia in the 90s, early 90s. And there was a Bosnian a uh, group, or I should say crew, that actually attacked a British base and they used T-34s. The British got mad, they went in, hammered them and took all of their T-34s and they shipped six of them to England. This is one of the six. So this was made in factory 113. We actually have a shipping document from it. I have no idea who the original crew would be, we don't have those records. But this is a very iconic machine. It's all kinds of battle damage on it where they've repaired it. So this has seen a lot of action, probably in Manchuria more than anywhere. But this is, again, developed, designed by the Ukrainian in the Ukraine in Kharkov. And I say that because that city is pounded all to hell right now, as you well know. So let's all pray and hope that that conflict ends quickly. T-3045, as I said at the beginning, the most one of the most iconic tanks in the world. commanded the 4th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group in Germany. In 1989, he was promoted to general, that's full general, and appointed chief of the defense staff. He was your head guy in the military. Our military, this was when our military was involved with the Gulf War and the conflict in Somalia. So the Gulf War that we are commemorating is in history. This was a developmental breakthrough with the sloped armor. Who knows what it is? T-34. T-34 slash 85. And uh, that's the privately owned and restored military vehicles that we have uh, over